so the next thing we need to do is add the red rectangle that um, essentially the take a break logo type sits in front of onto the cover. So if I pick up my rectangle tool and then uh, hover my cursor level with the top bleed line on the front cover, level with the spine as well, click and hold down the mouse, drag down. So this is about 83 millimeters high and then 146 millimeters. It's going to run around around about this sort of size, really. So I can uh, let go of the mouse. I can then go and get the size right for this by pinning the top left corner, which will anchor this part, the rectangle down in position. And then if I unlock the width and height, I can change the height of this now to 83, there or thereabouts. I know I'm saying there or thereabouts, but it's exactly 83 millimeters. And then for the width, that's going to be 146, like so. Now that contains no color inside of it. Um, InDesign does that sometimes. So if I uh, just reset these, uh, the reference point back to the middle in here, switch to my selection tool, you can import colors from another document. Now to do that, you'll need to go to window, then go down to color and choose swatches because we built these swatches in the other document. There's no point creating them all over again. So when the swatches panel pops open, you can go to the panel flyout menu and choose load swatches. Then on the desktop, I have the take a break article 01, select that one, choose open, and it drops them into this file inside of here. So uh, with that selected, I can make sure the fill icon is at the front and then apply take break red. Uh, and then I can close down the swatches panel because they will be available now from the menus at the top of the screen in there like so. So that's how you can import colors. You'd have to do it all over again. You, you could you know, create a bunch of boxes and copy and paste them from one file to another. If you wish to, you could do that as well. Um, so here's the issue. Obviously the red box goes in front of this lady's face, but if I select the photograph that contains the cover of the lady on there, then go to edit and choose copy and then choose edit and paste in place. That now pastes it in front. But if I go to um, the object menu and choose object layer options, this is composed of three layers. I can, in this case, turn off all the layers with the exception of the one called lady that only contains a version of this image with just a lady and no kind of uh, pink background. And then when I click OK, that's what we have. So I'm just using a composition, uh, a layer edit in there to be able to reveal just the lady. She covers the red box and then the rest of the image is in the background in there, which is behind the red box. So we've got, if I expand open the layers panel, that's my second pasted version of the photograph cover 01.psd. That's our red rectangle and it's sandwiched that red rectangle between two versions of that front cover image. One is uh, at the bottom in there, which has got everything visible. And the one at the top in there has only the lady visible in there. Uh, with that done, if I um, now probably will be better off um, locking all of those layers now not the not the entire images layer, but just those sub layers in there, which includes the red rectangle as well. Because if I click away now and then go to file and choose place, I can pick the uh, take a break logo and then click on open. Uh, we want uh, a transparent background, just the artwork. Uh, we don't want things like the crop or the bleed lines in there. We just want the artwork itself. Click OK. And then if I left click in there, <laughs> that's really big. So edit, undo place, and then start with this somewhere close to the upper corner, drag that out. That needs to finish just where that lady's head is. And then I can always with it selected, just tap down and move this down here so that um, it's level with the, the, you know, the margin on the inside in there. And it's just touching uh, where her hair is in there like so, and it gives us enough room in there. Um, to have that in there and of the red box. So um, that's how you achieve that look of having the logo type and its background incorporated with a photograph.